Welcome back to a vlog. This is the last vlog that you guys are going to see before you see me going off to my international European Mediterranean cruise. I have some guests here. Coco, as you guys know. Oh, he's showing off that hairline. Brand new hairline. <laughs> Follow my video so you can see my experience. Well, Coco just got a hair transplant. He went all the way to Turkey. And a month he, and a half ago. A month and a half ago. And he did release vlogs on his channel. So I will link it down below. Go check it out and watch his experience with his hair transplant. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. You guys can't see, but it's starting to grow back. Like this right here wasn't there before. Yeah, and like when I would pull it back, there was... The hair would just like disappear, but that's all me now. That's all him now. And then Jeremy, his boyfriend. Hi. You guys all know from previous vlogs. Anyway, we're heading out to go to Miami because we're gonna go see John's final art show of- Oh, we're gonna be in Miami? In Miami, I yeah. didn't know that. I thought it was in Fort Lauderdale. Of his, basically of his degree. So we're gonna go see his art show. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna go see him. So yeah, come along. All right, we have made it to FIU. I'm just looking for parking. He said to park in the blue lot. Blue but parking. I don't know how to get to the blue parking. Everything looks blue. All the signs look blue, which I think are the school colors. Straight? My my instincts are telling me to go straight. Forward. Forward. There's no straight people in this car. Isn't this a beautiful campus? Take a look at the campus. In 900 feet, there at the is. roundabout, take the third exit on Campus Drive. All right. Is we this get a it. public university? Uh, yeah. It's a lot of money spent. So after 15 minutes of driving around the entire campus looking for this parking garage, we found it. And everything is blue and gold on FIU, by the way. I know. Literally, John said, park at the blue parking lot. And I'm like, everything looks blue around here. But well, here we are, blue parking garage. All right, now to go find, oh, there it is, the Patricia and Philip Frost Art Museum. Congrats, John. Si se puede. Congratulations. All right, so this is the name of the show. Oh, there's my mom. Emma. Oh, yeah, so this is John's artwork. <laughs> so we found John's work. This is his gallery opening. Actually, he's right over here. He's talking. We'll let him do all the explaining. Okay, so tell me where we are today. We're at the uh, Patricia and Philip Frost Art Museum in Miami. So this is like your, your, your final art opening? This is the thesis show, correct, for the MFA program, Master of Fine Arts. And so there are five of us graduating. Uh, so five of us are exhibiting today. So this is your piece. These are all my pieces here. So this one, that one right there, and then those right there, and that one, and those little one pieces, correct. Okay, cool. Are you excited? So, I am excited. I mean, it's, this is a huge turnout. Yeah, it's a lot you know of what I thought. A lot of people. Yeah. So I'm using a lot of processes between printmaking and photography in my work, and then also using unconventional materials. So in this piece, it's silicone. That silicone right here? Silicone on plastic tarp with spray paint and uh, screen printing. Printmaking really moves back and forth and so does the photography. You know, the images are either your digital images, like a photograph, or I did it with a, what's called a pinhole camera, which is the simplest camera you can make for those two images there. And then I would translate them into a printmaking process. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for coming. This is John's Anne and Vivian. Vivalicious. Oh, Vivalicious, that's right. Vivalicious. You'll be Vivalicious tonight. Yes. After a few drinks. For sure. And that's John's I'm mom. Ready. That's his mom. And this Coco. Want to get some more wine? You want some wine? Yes. Let's go get some wine. So we came outside of the gallery to get some champagne. So we could do a cheers to John because it's a big accomplishment. So cheers, John. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, John. So they have little snacks. They also have a bar set up over there. There's my mom. Salud, ma. Cheers, cheers. Oh, this is, not be this is a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. Look at the fountain out there, the lake. Right, we're leaving Nemazine's Reverie. Is that how you say it? I, well, either Nemazine or Nemazine. Did you have a good show? Uh, that was really a big show. I mean, there's a lot of family and friends that came too. So yeah. Two hours and every a lot of people came, right? It was, it was <laughs> bad. Yeah. Everybody had a good time? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations! Well, you know, the, the, the bubbly helped. The bubbly did help. <laughs> Apparently, Jeremy knows how to play the piano, which we found a piano here in the Frost Museum. I didn't know your man knew how to play the piano. He knows how to play a lot of things. <laughs> you put me on the spot, I don't remember the thing. Don't act shy. I have
Well, that was a fun little outing, wasn't yes, it? Yes, I'm so proud of him. I said, I'm so proud of him. I'm so happy that he's accomplished something that he set out to do and that has been joy to his life. I know, and it's so wild that he started this like during the pandemic, 2020. Yeah. I remember when he was talking about it, we were in a pool and he was thinking about it and we were like, yes, just go do it and here. It's definitely given his life some meaning. So never stop pursuing what you want as well. No matter how old you are. We had to wear these little stickers to be able to walk around in the museum. And get our wine. We had one glass of champagne to toast John. I had Sarah, several more. You had several more? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's drive home. So now we're in a Mexican restaurant. We're gonna have some dinner, a celebratory dinner, kind of, right? Yeah. Because you still have a graduation. You have a lot of things to celebrate this week. I know. So we're starting off with a margarita. So cheers. Cheers, everybody. Coco, Jeremy, thank you for driving down from Orlando. Thank you for being in the same state that allows me to do that. I bet you can't wait till the Bright Line starts. We'll be going back and forth. All right, so my food has arrived. I got some taquitos with some rice, refried beans. John got some enchiladas. Uh, Coco, what did you get, Coco? Coco, taco, rice and beans, brown beans, tacos. Yeah, those fajitas are sizzling. The next day. So that was our day yesterday. Coco and Jeremy slept over. I have to go to work tonight, sadly. But it's okay because in less than a week, I will be on a seven day Mediterranean cruise. So there's that. I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.